Good morning. Good morning, everybody. We'll wait, a, we'll wait a minute to see everyone join us. Good morning, happy Easter. Looks like you guys are the uh, early risers this morning. Uh, thanks for preventing me from doing this by myself and uh, waking up for nothing. I'm not, a, I'm not that early of a riser, but uh, glad to be here with you guys uh, this morning. Um, the sun looks like it's coming up. It'll be coming up, uh, the video clip, it'll be come up, coming up from my right over there, uh, but uh, maybe later in, the, in a few minutes we can go outside and um, uh, watch the sunset together. Uh, this time will be a pretty informal time. It's the most uh, informal sunrise service that, that we've done. Uh, I'm not wearing a suit because it's too cold. Um, when we go outside later, uh, it'll, I'm sure it'll be pretty chilly. Um, but I want to welcome you as we uh, gather together this morning and um, look at one of God's uh, most natural signs of hope in the world. Uh, so let's just enter into a time of prayer. If you have your coffee, uh, <laughs> your, your morning juice, um, Feel free to sip or enjoy this time in bed as we sing some songs, uh, read some scripture together, and uh, uh, enjoy the sunrise together. Let me pray for us. Father, thank you so much for this time apart but together. Uh, thank you so much that uh, we're able, to, Lord, to see the sunrise from our different houses and our different homes and different places that we're hunkered down in uh, this morning. And uh, even though we're, we're separated, uh, Lord, we sense your spirit uniting us and um, blessing us and giving us signs of hope uh, through it all. So this morning, Lord, we gather and remember uh, the story of your resurrection of the morning 2,000 years ago when the tomb was empty and the grave was defeated and all of human sin and pain and evil and shame were vanquished uh, on the cross and in the empty tomb. We worship you this morning and uh, from wherever we are, um, we give you praise. Lord, we also this morning just... Uh, um, 
pray for those who are our frontline workers in our cities and in our communities, uh, for the healthcare workers, for uh, the city workers, uh, for all those people that are running our grocery stores and restaurants to help keep us fed and help keep us healthy. Lord, we just pray, Lord, a special Easter blessing upon them this morning as they tirelessly work to make sure that the rest of us uh, can survive and thrive in this time. Uh, so we worship you this morning. Thank you so much uh, that you were risen. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's begin and uh, let's, um, let's read some scripture together. Uh, if you have, if, if you are close to your computer or, or uh, another device where you can grab the online handout, uh, if you go to the website www.ebcla.org, uh, you should be able to download on our updates page. Uh, a little handout. It's just a little PDF with some lyrics and uh, some scripture verses. Uh, I'll be reading from that this morning, so if you can go there. If not, you can, you can also follow along if you have your Bible or uh, your Bible app. Let's start from uh, Matthew chapter 28. Matthew tr chapter 28, verse 1 says, After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who is crucified. He is not here. He is risen. Just as he said, come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the woman hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Let's begin our time uh, in some worship.
you guys are uh, all able to listen. Um, Instagram had some problems this morning, so uh, we're just broadcasting on Facebook. Um, looks like it might be a little cloudy today. So, uh, oh, thank, thank you guys uh, for those of you who are joining us. Let's uh, go to uh, the next song, He is Worthy.
morning everyone again it looks like uh, the sun is about to come up we maybe have time for one more song and then we'll go outside and then maybe do some reflections outside um, let's see let's uh let's go to uh, in Christ Alone, if you have your handouts, which you can download at www.ebcla.org under updates, uh, we'll, uh, we'll do one more song and then we'll go outside.
is risen, everybody. Well, uh, let's uh, go outside and uh, oops, enjoy the sunset together. Sorry, a little clumsy. I'm going to uh, remove the uh, device here. You guys okay? Sorry. If you guys are not outside, you can put on your jackets and uh, we'll go outside. There's a somewhat of a sunrise. It got brighter, but um, it's a little it's a little overcast this morning. I thought we could read a little bit from uh, the Gospel of John. Um, let me let me go in and. stand for you guys. You guys are enjoying your your sunrise. If you guys have your Bibles or uh, have your um, your sheet open, uh, we're going to be looking at the Gospel of John. And uh, just uh, thought we could read the story together, uh, John chapter twenty. Uh, let's start at verse eleven uh, with with Mary Magdalene. It says in uh, John 20, starting at verse 11, Now Mary stood outside the tomb, crying as, she, crying as she wept. She bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said. And I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. As you guys uh, enjoy the, the sunrise, I was thinking about this, this passage um, uh, this weekend and um, just kind of recounting 
when Mary heads to uh, the tomb and uh, she's, she's there and the angels come and they, they ask her, woman, why are you crying? She says, they've, they've taken the Lord away and I don't know where they've put him. And uh, then she turns around and she says, the text says she sees Jesus and uh, she doesn't realize that it's him. Jesus then asks her, woman, why, why are you crying? And who is it you're looking for? And then the text says, thinking he was the gardener. She said, sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him and I will get him. And I was thinking about that in the context of the world that we live in right now. And it, how Mary how Mary is at this place, the place uh, where Jesus is buried. And um, she goes there and there's these angels and the text, text tells us that um, they're, they're dressed in white. Other accounts talk about how glorious they look and Mary just has no clue that, that these, these people are angelic. Um, when, when she turns around and she sees Jesus, she doesn't recognize him at all. Like she's, he's standing there in front of her and she doesn't recognize him. And uh, even when Jesus starts to talk to her, Mary doesn't realize that it's him. And she just thinks like, oh, he's just the gardener here to, here to clean up a little bit. Maybe he's the one who took Jesus' body away. And, um, you know, I just thought like, how often do we, are we in the presence of Christ and we just have no idea that he's there? Like he, in, even from the text from his most, one of the most glorious appearances in human history. And Mary does not recognize him because Jesus blends in with everybody else and with everything around him. And this text says to me that that's what Christ is like. He, he blends in all around us. And Mary is so caught up in her grief, which is justified, and her sadness, which is justified, because her friend, her teacher, her, uh, her Lord has, has been killed. She's so caught up in that, she doesn't realize that he's, he's still there, that he's standing there, that he's the one that's actually standing closest to her. And so I wonder in this time of pandemic, how often is Christ standing really close to us? Comfort, there to comfort us, there to ask us why we're crying, why we're sad. And because we're so caught up in our own grief, which may be just really justified, uh, we can't see him. The sunrise reminds us that God is faithful, that every day his mercies are new, and that he is always here. And so as we reflect on the sunrise this morning, and as you enjoy the light starting to bleed and overflow into your homes and into your rooms and through your windows, my prayer is that you see the risen Christ and discover that he's been there close to you all along. Whether you are a, a doctor or a nurse or a hospital worker uh, caring for the sick that are coming in because of COVID-19, or whether you are alone in your home right now and just trying to do your part by staying at home, by quarantining yourself, by um, isolating yourself so that you don't catch the virus. May the Christ who was near to Mary be near to you. Last night, um, as I was reading this passage, I started to read on a little bit. And this isn't in your handouts, but if you have your Bibles or if you, you can, uh, I'm just going to read on just a little bit more from verse 19 to 22. And uh, 
this is when Jesus appears to the rest of the disciples. And it says, on the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together, with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, forgive them they are not forgiven last night as i was thinking about uh this uh the previous passage i kind of stumbled upon this a little again and um as i was reading it it just caught my eye um and uh i i just thought what an appropriate passage because the disciples are isolating themselves at home they lock their doors and they're not letting anybody in and it says that Christ comes through their room and their home and says, peace be with you. And I think as we kind of wrap up our time this morning, I just want to remind us that uh, if you have, feel alone, if you feel um, isolated, if you feel cut off from all your friends and family, um, let this story be an encouragement to you as well, that there is this Christ that comes through our locked doors, comes through our isolation, comes into the, the places where we are all alone, and he comes to bring his blessing of peace on this Easter morning. And so to all of you, uh, I just, on, on, uh, on this Easter morning, I just say peace be with you. May, uh, may you experience the peace of Christ um, as you enjoy this Resurrection Sunday. Uh, we'll just take a moment, and I know there are some people online right now, so, and you guys have been talking uh, throughout the time that I've been doing my thing, so thank you for paying attention. <laughs> uh, but I hope you guys are, um, just want to leave it open for you guys to, to interact a little bit, and um, um, yeah, if you guys want to give blessing to the 57 other people, or the 56, 57 other people that are online right now, then uh, feel free to do so. Uh, you're not able to see each other, but uh, um, yeah, take some time to type in something and bless everyone uh, as we just kind of enjoy the sunset, sunrise together. Hi, Lori, Michelle, Bruce, Calvin, Melanie. Happy Easter to you guys. Steve, all the way from Brazil. Winston, Kat. Glad you guys could all make it. Steph, Jenny, Toby, Lori. Did I say Lori? Tran. Jetty, Cat from Japan. Hope you and Burton are doing well. Keith, sorry, I'm just kind of scrolling quickly. Roy Padre. Happy Easter, Kim. Abby, Martin, 
Eric. Glad you guys could join us. I'm gonna move inside. And uh, I know that everyone, is, for those of you outside, you're using your morning voices so that you don't wake the wave, don't wake the neighbors. Um, uh, I'm gonna do that too. Move inside and try to be courteous. Thought we could just close our time together so that some of you can start making breakfast and the, the rest of you can go back to sleep. I thought we just we just close a little bit uh, in uh, in a song. may not be on your Nothing can stop. 
right time, let's sing the bridge one more time. Death could not hold you. Death could not hold you. The veil torn before you. You silenced the boast of sin and grief. The heavens are roaring. Praise of Everyone, he is risen. He's risen indeed. Uh, if you guys have a chance later today at 10 a.m., uh, Evergreen will be broadcasting our Sunday service on YouTube and on Facebook. So hope you guys can check that out. Uh, that you can get, catch the link at our webpage at www.ebcla.org. After service, we're going to do a special. Easter fellowship time on Zoom video conferencing and video chat. So if you guys can make it for that, uh, the service will, is pre-recorded and it will be broadcast at 10 a.m. But at 11 a.m. we will be having a special fellowship time over Zoom. So we hope that you guys can all call in and be able to give each other the Easter greeting. He is risen. He is risen indeed. And uh, we can all see each other. I know from our Good Friday service that we're all just dying to connect, to see each other, if not in person, uh, face to face over, <laughs> over the internet and eye to eye. Um, so I hope you guys can all, uh, all participate in that and make it to that. I hope you guys in the midst of your quarantine and in the midst of uh, isolation, in the midst of uh, for those of you who are frontline workers, working tires, tirelessly, um, we, uh, uh, I just pray that you'll have such a wonderful, wonderful Easter today and that you feel that you're connected to, to all the rest of us, uh, even if it's through our online community. So have a, a blessed day. Um, I just pray a blessing over you that you will see the risen Christ amongst you, even in your homes. Uh, and uh, uh, for those of you who are working, pray that you will see the risen Christ this day and this week as you enjoy the hope uh, that is found in his resurrection and the symbol of that in the sunrise this morning. Happy Easter, everybody. Um, hope to see you soon. God bless. Now you can go back to sleep or uh, go get some coffee.